show that um, my dad didn't know anything about me and that this was all a big surprise to him. It took 40 years to find him, but thanks to DNA testing, Susan Kissinger's family just got a whole lot bigger. Susan has lived in Lancaster County for almost her entire life and says she always knew she was a bit different from her siblings, but never knew why. Then at 18 years old, she found out she was the daughter of someone else. This morning, we're taking a closer look at how Susan used Ancestry.com to track down her biological dad and five half brothers. It's said a picture is worth a thousand words, but these photos scattered on a table and these ones on a stand in a completely different home, their story is worth a lifetime of untold stories. The people in these photos, never knowing their tales, would one day cross the same path. It was scary because you don't know, are they going to accept you or not? Susan Kissinger says growing up, she always knew she was a bit different from her siblings. But her last name, Bullock, was the same. However, the man she thought was her dad had the last name Miller. So when she turned 18 years old, she says she got up the nerve to ask her mom the question, who am I? With respect for my mom and dad, that um, I never asked again who, who my dad was. Sue found out her dad wasn't really her dad. But after she asked, he adopted her, making Sue a Miller. She buried the burning question, who is my real dad, for years. That was until her mom died in 2011. Once she passed, um, my sister, Tammy, said, now we're going to find out who your dad is. And that's when the journey began. The journey to getting the answers she craved took 40 years. The sisters had to overcome some hurdles. That's because when Sue's mom was pregnant with her, she moved the family to California. Since it was, she was born in California, and that is a closed um, adoption records. We were unsuccessful with that, although we tried several routes for several years. After seven years of calling old schools and attempting to track down birth certificates, the sisters said enough was enough. So they did a DNA test through Ancestry.com. And that is where we found some close relatives. And so I had emailed a number of those and Ashley DeMonte was answered me several weeks later. I figured out since she was a second cousin, I believed that it was either, um, you know, one of my grandparents was her aunt or uncle. And we brought it down to where it had to be a blood relative of mine, which was her father. In an hour or two of talking on the phone, we actually came to who we thought would have been Sue's birth father. Meet Sue's five new brothers and her biological father, Harry Smith Jr. I dated her mother, you know, for a few months. And then I had gone in the service in 59, and I came home on leave. I tried to call her. Well, the phone number was disconnected. That's because she was in California, but the family did eventually move back to Lancaster County. Sue living in Lancaster and Harry in the Willow Street area. That's about six miles away meaning Sue and Harry spent years shopping at the same stores, walking the same streets, and visiting the same restaurants. If it wouldn't have been for this here new DNA, probably never would have caught up, you know, we'd have never met. Sue and Harry took a DNA test to confirm what they already suspected to be truth. Said it came back 9.9.9.9. There's no doubt. I said, no, there's no doubt. But Harry says the test was never needed. The minute that I seen her picture next to my sister, there was no doubt in my mind. She wouldn't have had to even take the test. She fits right in. I knew it. I know why I'm the worker I am. I know why I'm a clean fanatic. You know, I always like everything clean because the Smiths are just go-getters. It was emotional for me. I'm an emotional person. This interview with Fox 43 almost never happened for Harry. The morning we all planned to meet was almost his last. Getting ready and after a bit, I was on the floor. And uh, I was lucky to come back. I mean, uh, this thing hit me three times to bring me back. The father of five sons says he has already had 12 heart attacks in his lifetime. Thankfully, a morning spent preparing to tell the story of how his daughter found him was not his last. Now, Harry says life has given him yet another reason to keep fighting. 
a beautiful daughter, grandchildren, even great-grandchildren that without ancestry would still be looking for this life-changing answer. Take a test. I, I didn't hesitate. You know, it's good. Everything is really good about it. I mean, I'm, I'm just ecstatic about it. I knew who I was. I knew I was a Smith. That day, I knew who I was just by meeting them. Now Sue tells us that she will be attending the Smith family reunion this summer and is excited to keep meeting members of her new and extended family.